however the f- this ends up coming about he is going to move to puerto rico yep. sad day obviously the maverick house is is you know no more and everyone's leaving and you have already started to prepare this opportunity for this new house well it lined up perfect because we used that Clybourne house as the phase house for a year correct that year lease was up and we decided to do other things other than renew this lease for this house. And then we had just linked up for kind of a one-off thing with that company that sponsored yep. the, the Clybourne house yep. for us. Yep. And it was just like, let's, let's do it. We have this Aiden Ross kid who's kind of coming up and we're, we feel good about, we think he'd be the next big thing. Um, Rice is down <laughs> to get back in the mix. Mike's ready to, Summer. to do something. Summer's always down. Um, let's do it. And they were like, yeah, fucking let's do it. And we and we create this house. Yep. And it implodes. I mean, I mean, I, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. <laughs> what? No one does anything. I I continue. Aiden, to create. I mean, Aiden became one of the biggest, biggest streamers, streamers on the planet world. in that house. Yes, so correct. Not for nothing. That wow. in his little crack room with the green which curtains. which I would argue that that mm-hmm. wouldn't have been possible if it weren't for LA. Correct. Motherfucker had a different rapper athlete. In the house, every I remember day. I would be in my room and I would look at what was going on in his room on stream, which was, by the way, next door to my room. It would be like blue face, some Pammy baby, too. P- Pammy baby, blue face, four prostitutes, 18 <laughs> gang members. Yeah. There would be weed <laughs> pouring through my vents into my fucking room. Gunshots I, I, coming through the li- wall. Literally, I'm calling, I'm calling Banks. He's not answering because he would be on a three week hiatus or whatever, like in his room. <laughs> You know, Summer Rae is not even at the fucking house. Rice Gum is managing OnlyFans, girls. And I'm sitting there as one of the co-managers of this house. Like, what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> no one's doing their work except for Aiden. And, uh, and I'm creating. But it was a um, it was a very strange time, a very another tumultuous time, and another lesson for me of how this all ma- how this management all works. The idea of managing these young creators. And Aiden was Aiden is we we looked at him as our son. Yeah, as as our kid, and we had one of the best streams in the history yeah. of his, you know, one of his top three rated I love streams. That. I still the get clips of that How all the time. Is that? So you were just cool. telling me to shh constantly. I said, "What is this? The Ernest Hemingway section of the library?" <laughs> hey there! If you like the clip, make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right.